Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Mortal Kombat 1. On the last episode, the Earthrealm crew escaped from Outworld and brought back Reptile and Asherah. And, uh, yeah. We're gonna get right into this episode. Blue Kang and Garrus are still really trying to figure out who's behind what's going on with Quan Chi and Shang Tsung. Let's get into it, guys. How long are we expected to linger? Patience, Bihan. There are many demands on Liu Kang's attention. Were he here, father would advise us to wait without protest. But now he is gone, and I am Grand Master. His teachings did not pass with him. They should still guide us. Guide us, yes. Shackle us, no. We can't abandon tradition. Mind your place, Tomas. Father may have taken you in, made you one of us. But your blood will never be Lin Kuei. Dang. Lord Liu Kang can see you now. It is about time. Poor guy. Shang Tsung is here, at the ruins of Ying Fortress. His soul stealers are already under construction. You must destroy them, and capture Shang Tsung before either can inflict harm upon Earthrealm. We will leave immediately. And we will join you. You are not Lin Kuei. You would only hinder the effort. Raiden and I are more than- We're trained differently. It takes years to master our ways. You and Raiden have my full confidence, but you are needed elsewhere. Go to the Wuxi. The monks must prepare you for war. Whoa. War. The only way in is over the walls. We must find a less guarded section before attempting an ascent. Finally, we face a worthy foe. Victory will bring us glory. Glory? We fight for duty. Does our father's ghost possess you? Who? Oh. All I hear is his voice. We must honor his vision, Bihan. Vision is what he lacked. He was blind to our superiority. We settle for defending Earthrealm when we could help lead it. Our clan doesn't govern. It serves. That is our past. It won't be our future. Oh boy. Behind doing behind things. <laughs> Smoke just slowly, slowly rising up as Scorpion and Sub Zero have to climb. That's good. <laughs> against your kind. I have fought them tall ones. All Earth Realmers will soon know of Eternus. My realm starves, and it's coming here to feed. Oh boy. Fight! Oh, 
we done that? Let's uh, let's see. We got. Triangle, square, triangle, square, triangle, triangle. We got down, forward, square, down, back, square, back, forward, X. I already knew that one. Back, down, down, back, circle, down, forward, down, forward, circle. Gotcha. You will end this day hungry. What no. is this? It's our man. Charged with defending the fortress. None will escape us. Test your might. Sir. You came ward about you. I had hoped for the chance to battle your dark magic. Fight. Break. Oh boy, get in the butt kick. Get in the butt kick.
Gotcha. You are not so fearsome. Nope. You're both unharmed. We are, brother. Good. After our years of idleness, it pleases me to again face combat. I will be pleased when we complete our mission. Idleness a word? Did he, he actually said that, right? I didn't imagine. Be careful with what you're handling. We have no time for mistakes. Continue working. I must oversee production of the remaining basins. You ain't got to do much with Quan Chi's design, honestly. It's pretty, uh, pretty great, honestly. Way it is. That's Quan Chi, the other sorcerer Liu Kang described. Kuai Liang and I will capture him. Stay here. Do not let them activate the Soul Stealers. Poor smoke. Shang. Looking mighty pleased with himself. Will the Soul Stealers be completed on time, Quan Chi? Yes. Our benefactor's guidance has proven most helpful. If we break it, we'll halt their construction. Agreed. <laughs> Oh, hey. 
Your failure was inevitable. Yes, sir. <laughs> This is so unnecessary. What I can offer you, you won't decline. Unless it's your surrender, I am not interested. Fight. Whoa. Is he going old? Why, why is he going old? I don't get. I don't. Now that I don't understand. Classic stuff, but uh... it is your choice. I can give you freedom. I can take you If he's not old, why would he waste his magic powers to go old? Oh, he got me. He got me good. That's a cool throw. I had hoped for a worthier enemy. Can you imagine if these guys didn't show up and Sub Zero had just killed Shang Tsung right then and there? What a vastly different story. Oh. These guys are the crap. Like, these guys are special. Look at them just. Oh. I see. Perhaps now you wish to entertain my offer. How would you know what I value? We are strangers to each other. I know that you wish to break free of Liu Kang's control. To gain your clan unrivaled power. I offer the means to do both. Ignore him, brother. He promises only corruption. Grandmaster, I am sure you're asking yourself. Can I afford to trust a man I have never met? But the true question you must ask is... Can I afford not to? Oh, boy. be Kronika. Alright guys, that is going to be it for this episode of Mortal Kombat 1. We uh, defeated Shang Tsung and Quan Chi and then Scorpion and Sub-Zero were instantly um, just destroyed by freaking Shao Kahn. My bad. General Shao's guards. Like it was, you know, just six guys just come in and just beat the brakes off uh, 
good old Scorpion and Sub-Zero. So that was something that happened, but we'll see if uh, Sub-Zero accepts Shang Tsung's offer on the next episode of Mortal Kombat 1, most likely, guys. If you like what you saw, you know what to do. And I'll see you on the next one. Laters.